Lake Louisville, located on the northern edge of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, a small fishery by Texas standards, Lake Louisville has proven itself time and again on the professional and collegiate circuits. And now, the Texas team trail will make this the final qualifying stop in the regular season. We've got 105 teams on the water. It's mid-June, and it all starts now. We've got a five-bass limit. On the Texas Team Trail Tournament Series, presented by Cabela's from Lake Louisville. Welcome to stop number four on the inaugural season of the Texas Team Trail. We'd like to take a moment and thank all the anglers that fished with us in 2012. And we hope to see you out on the water as we kick off season number two in 2013. Located on the Elm Fork of the Trinity River, Lake Louisville is a 29,000 acre reservoir impounded in 1954 it's an interesting lake. Uh, it's got a lot of cover, it seems like, that's uh, right near the shoreline. Um, the fish we found today were all pretty shallow. Uh, I did see some guys fishing offshore a little bit, so we might give that a try. Lakes come up about four inches, so we're probably expecting maybe the fish maybe to move a little bit shallow. I was surprised. I expected the water to be dirtier than it is. The water looks nice, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. We're junk fishing. Really, uh, we went to a lot of different places today and uh, got quite a few bites, shook a bunch off, so we really don't know what we have. Launching from Lake Park, we've got 105 teams on the water, each vying for that top prize of a new boat, a Stratus 189 VLO with a motor and trailer package worth $25,000. Also in play is the Lucas Oil Team of the Year, after three events, Jeff Reynolds and Randall Bruce are holding on to a slim lead over Stephen Johnston and Dickie Newberry. We're like two points back. We're still in second place. The, um, the fishery here is great. It's a great fishery. Um, heard lots of good stories, big bags being caught. Um, we're here early June. We've got high pressure, not a breath of wind. It's supposed to be about 95 today. So if we don't catch them early, it's going to be a long day. It's going to be tough. It's going to go down to the wire. You know, like he said, like Jeff said, we just want to maintain, you know, not drop too far. You know, it, it'd be great to stay in the lead, but we just got to, you know, fish consistent, catch a limit of fish. With the sun coming up over the Louisville Dam, we'll start off tournament coverage with James Martin and Terry Stevens, who are currently sitting in fourth place in the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings. They live here if we can just get them to eat. It's all about rock on, on this lake. I mean, no grass, very little timber that we found. If you're not banging off a rock, you're not getting bit. With the boat in 14 feet of water and casting to the dam, Martin and Stevens are fishing medium diving crankbaits down the steep drop off. Key of the whole deal is knocking it off the rock. get a limit early and, and keep start cutting. Less than 20 minutes into their morning and Martin and Stevens are on the board. They're hoping to get a little momentum going this morning and make up some ground in the team of the year race. We need to win it to have contention because we're one place or one point out of third and what are we 25 out of first 25 points out of first Rayburn Rayburn really hurt us um, you know we couldn't we couldn't catch any fish over two pounds at Rayburn for some reason and that was uh, 
that was a tough tournament for us. Well, you know, uh, going in Livingston, we was 43 points out, so we made up half of it in one tournament. So, you know, if we can stay in the top five and give ourselves a shot at the championship, uh, the angle of the year would be nice. Coming up, we'll continue tournament coverage from stop number four of the Texas Team Trail, presented by Cabela's at Lake Louisville. Cabela's Angler Cash is just one of the many contingency awards available on the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. Visit TexasTeamTrail.com for all the details. Evinrude E-Tech is the only outboard that gives you more of the experiences you want. Like more acceleration and top end speed. More time on the water with no maintenance for three years or 300 hours. More chances to catch more fish. And more and more fun. The Evinrude E-Tech, it's more, more, and more than anything else on the water. Experience more with Evinrude. Before you head out here, get ready at Cabela's, your source for the hottest new gear at tough to beat prices. Save big on everything you need when you shop by catalog, stores, and online at cabelas.com. Our legendary selection is field tested and field proven. You can trust our gear. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Focused, driven, and engineered to excel. This is the all new Ranger Z520C. From the total performance hull to a revolutionary interior design, it's our most advanced bass boat to date. Combined with Evinrude E-Tech's power, performance, and 300 hours with no dealer schedule maintenance, this is a level of leadership that's easy to see and hard to follow. Experience more with Evinrude. Lucas Fishing Reel Oil is a special blend of oil and additives specifically designed to lubricate all moving parts in freshwater and saltwater fishing reels and rust corrosion protection even under the most adverse conditions. The new one-drop applications allow you to put just the right amount of lubricant into hard-to-reach areas. Increase your reel performance with Lucas Oil high-performance products. Learn more at lucasoil.com. Introducing the most advanced, efficient predator on the water today, Triton's new XS series. Stalk your prey with hot new features like a solid state fuseless stash with push button start and support for 10 inch depth finders and new bow control with support for eight inch depth finders. Prowl the deep with our most advanced drivability, maximum comfort and an incredible hole shot. The new XS by Triton. The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Lucas Oil, it works. Welcome back. This is stop number four of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. Brandon Dickinson and Ryan McGrail won the recent Texas Team Trail event on Lake Livingston. And as residents of the DFW Metroplex, they consider Louisville to be one of their home lakes and bring a lot of experience and confidence to the table. You know, this is something that, you know, we fish on this lake a lot. And those fish move in the water column. And a lot of times, first thing in the morning, you can catch them just right below the tire. So I'm actually throwing a swim jig and those fish are actually sitting between the top and the bottom of that tire, and I'm trying to get them to react and come out and get it. Um, but, you know, this is a lake we know pretty well, and, and we're probably going to hit about 30 spots before the day's over, and this is just, you know, what happened to be first on the list for today. James Martin and Terry Stevens started off their morning on the dam, where they quickly picked up their first fish. It's been a long, quiet stretch since, and now the team is fishing new water. Well, up ahead of us is a, is a ledge uh, coming off a point, rock point. It's about four foot on top, about 18, 19 foot on each side. 
Like I say, we pulled up, checked it yesterday, and Terry caught one about three and a half on the first cast, and we left it. And uh, same deal, you know, Shad pulling up on that ledge, and, and uh, kind of a little isolated area, uh, it's no wake zone. So, uh, kind of get away from the boat traffic, get in here, and, and uh, see if they're stacked up on these points. Good fish. Watch, watch, watch. Watch for it. No, don't worry. God. That's a keeper. Look at the size of that crappie. Are you going for the Grand Slam today? Wow. Well, I mean, I started off with a cat bird. Start off with a short fish on the first cast, and I caught a catfish. It was a crappie. I guess I'll hit all the species today. I guess it would. He hit, he hit that three quarter ounce jig with some authority. <laughs> Russell Cecil, Willis, Texas. Todd Castellan, Nacogdoches, Texas. <laughs> Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine are another of the teams chasing Reynolds and Bruce in the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings. They are 27 points out of the lead, but a good showing here will keep them in contention going into the championships later this fall on Amistad. It looks like they're on fish this morning as that one fills out their five fish limit. Well, it's been slower than we had hoped, but we're not complaining, we got a limit. We got two decent ones and three little ones, so we need to do a little work on the cone. They just bit easier last time. They bit like that, roll up on a spot, catch one first pass. We practiced yesterday and felt like we had a chance to do pretty well. Uh, we, we're not we, close. We're not close, we need some help for sure. Uh, you know, this is a good lake. I'd uh, be happy with 17. Yeah, but I, I mean, I don't but I think, think you'll take more. Yeah, I do too. I think 20 pounds before you could even think you had a chance of winning. Because uh, this place has big ones. You know, it gets a little bit of a bad rap because they've been here a couple times and bass and stuff like that when they weren't biting when the water was real cold, but they live here. Despite being perceived as a recreational lake, in one of the most populated regions of the country, Lake Louisville is actually a good little fishery. Local anglers Clint Koroviak and Darren Carpenter know this well, though they are struggling on this particular morning. Well, right now we've got one fish for probably a little over three. We caught a couple, just three other small fish, but our bite doesn't get better until the later the date goes usually. We'll start locking down on more isolated targets, and that's what we're gonna be fishing today. Uh, probably mainly stumps here in a little bit. Have to use the side imaging and find those. Just little bitty groups of them. That, and uh, fishing walkways, a lot of walkways. Using small crawfish imitations, Clint and Darren are fishing shallow waiting for the hot summer sun to drive the fish tight to cover in deeper water. Damn. Board him? No. Eh, With a 14-inch minimum length limit, this little bass may have some trouble touching the line. Yep. Watch your foot. Get that bag on. Coming up, we'll wrap up the water coverage from Lake Louisville at stop number four of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. If you're going to be the best, every day is a work day. There's no time off, no vacation, no sick days. Every day's the same. Breathe, dream, sacrifice, and sweat. Every day you work late. And every morning, everyone else knows, you'll be working late again today.
before you head out here. Get ready at Cabela's, your source for the hottest new gear at tough to beat prices. Save big on everything you need when you shop by catalog, stores, and online at cabelas.com. Our legendary selection is field tested and field proven. You can trust our gear. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. Second to you again, bud. Tell you what, next tournament, I won't use my hydroway. I don't believe you, so you know what, bud? I'm taking it with me. Go ahead. Thanks, bud. You know what, Kevin? You know, he actually may be pulling for me. He's nuts if he thinks I'm giving up my hydrowave. <laughs> what a squirrel. <laughs> The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you in part by Stratus Boats. Step up or step back. And by Dodge Ram. Welcome back to Lake Louisville for the final stop in the inaugural season of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. As we get ready to launch the second year of the Texas Team Trail, we invite you to take a look at our season schedule. We've had a lot of positive response from last year and we look forward to seeing everybody back out on the water. You have to be on your game to fish with these guys because every one of them is top notch as far yeah. as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, the, the way it's run, the whole thing is, you know. It's top notch? Yeah, it, it's quality. I think that this trail here is probably tops in the trails right now. We didn't know what we were getting into when we first started and decided to try it and we're very glad we did. It's a father-son team and uh, uh, we've had a lot of fun. This is a great trail. We, we love fishing it and um, the lakes have, they've, they've selected so far have been really good. Uh, hadn't always been great for us but they've been good fish, good fishing lakes and looking forward to the championship down at Amistad. The Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's also offers a variety of contingency options, quite possibly the best lineup in the industry. The contingencies in this thing are ex exceptional. It's a great format. I think the participation will be even bigger next year because all of our friends are talking about it and like, man, why didn't we fish that this year? We, we missed out. And the one day of practice is like perfect. I agree with that too. Because we, we fish so many of the other ones that have off limits, man, and it's it's not, I don't mind, I'll go anywhere, me and him will go anywhere in the country that you give us one day. You can find everything you need to know about the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's online at texasteamtrail.com. Lamont Lloyd and Joe Satina are fishing offshore structure in about 20 feet of water alternating between a Carolina rig and a deep running crankbait. Hey, yes, Dick. Dick? Yeah, nothing to him. Black. Black. Oh, shit, that's not bad. He's done. <laughs> Maybe he'll keep. Oh, on that 6XD, too. That's uh, baby. I don't know if it'll keep or not. Man, check it out here. It might go. You got me another No, I don't. Oh, she's a, get the gout. She'll measure. I'll stretch out. Huh? That's all you need. Throw it out there, really, Dean? <coughs> We are way up from our waypoint. I, I had a couple hits, you know, throwing it straight back. There's one. There's one. There's one, Dick. Get the net. Ah. Did they kill him? Well, he's, he's okay. Joe and Lamont have found a school of bass. They're feeding. Yeah. And anglers who locate these little sweet spots can it's fill up that. their live it's well in a hurry. Uh, yellow belly special there. We made a bet last night and I lost, so he got to throw the good one. With the bite on, Lamont gets his fish on board Ready. and his lure Baby back in the water and quickly picks up another bite. Oh, boy. Oh, 
putting the clinic on. Damn, Damn baby. Toad. Come on to pop. You got her. Freaking albino. Get some, baby. Get some of that, Chief. Hey, good job, buddy. What's up? That's three fish in just minutes. Actions fast on the Texas team trail. Paul Bosco and Chris Nennelly are another team finding success today. Right now it's uh, it's two o'clock and we actually were fortunate enough to draw boat number one this morning. Um, we had a good starting spot. We caught three real quick this morning. Three pretty good ones this morning and then uh, we went and started fishing some isolated stuff and then uh, lost a six pounder that uh, has been kind of tough to get over today, but we backed it up with, you know, a four and a three, and we've had a pretty good day. We probably got 13 pounds uh, in the live well right now is what we're thinking. So it's just been getting tougher as the day goes on. We haven't caught a keeper since about 12:45. On our last stop of the day, we'll check back in with Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine. We uh, we got a top ten at Rayburn. We got a top ten at. We didn't get a top ten at Rayburn. Did we not? What did we get? I think we got like 15th. No. Yeah, you broke off on all them fish. There we go. Once again. Big. I think it's a big one. Oh yeah, that's that's one we might need. We definitely need that one. I ain't giving you no fist bump because hey, I don't do that. <laughs> hey, get it. You're all up in my line. Dude, man. I told you there were fish up there when I got them the first time. You're all up in my line. Coming up, we'll head into Lake Park for weigh-in at <laughs> event number four of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. The Ranger Cup, Triton Gold, and the Stratus Two Times Award are just some of the ways anglers can pick up extra cash just for fishing the right gear. Visit TexasTeamTrail.com for the complete list of contingency options available. Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. Designed with state-of-the-art technology that given the ability of the fishermen to easily customize the hook or bait to the actual presentation with an easy twist on and off snap, it gives the bait a free range of motion. Give more natural and realistic action. Bring fishing to the next level of enjoyment. Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. For more information, go to freedomlures.com. Do fish hear? Yes, they do. <laughs> Livingston Lures sound and vibration technology <laughs> proves it. Our lures whip fish into a feeding frenzy. I don't know what it is for sure, but I know it seems like you get some ferocious bites on these baits. There he is. Livingston Lures stands as the innovator of vibration and sound technology that mimics biology. That's what I'm talking about right there. Visit us at livingstonlures.com or call 1-800-678-7841. I tell you what, a good knife, that is just something that is so valuable to a person in the outdoors that you can't even, you can't put a value on it. It's just something to know that you've got a sharp knife to be able to get the job at hand done. And not every knife is going to be able to be sharp, be able to get the job done, and be able to handle the tasks that are ahead of it. But I can promise you, the bubble blade, it's going to get the job done for you. You know, a lot of times you see things that are out there and you wonder if they're any good. But when you get a good fillet knife in your hand and you've got a pile of fish over it clean and it begins to go through every different cut quickly and easily and effortlessly, you know you're holding something that you're going to like and you're going to be able to use and enjoy. Whether you're cleaning redfish or speckled trout or tuna or whatever it may be, the Bubba Blade has proven itself in the field to be a product that I like, will use, and will have on my boat when it comes time to go fishing for a long time to come. So check out our website to order your Bubba Blade today. This portion of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's is brought to you by Triton Boats. We take America fishing. And by Evan Rood. Spend more time on the water. 
Welcome back to Lake Park on the shores of Lake Louisville. Competition is over for the fourth and final regular season event of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's and tournament director Mike Hastings is ready on stage. We have got a really interesting team of the year race going on and these guys are right in the thick Bringing of only two fish to the scales weighing just over six and a half pounds, Newberry and Johnston will almost certainly lose ground in the Lucas Oil Team of the Year race. Philip Crelia and TJ Goodwin came into this event third in the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings and brought in five for 12.74 pounds and 12th place overall. James Martin and Terry Stevens finish out the day with fourth fish for just over 11 pounds and a 19th place finish. 11.04, great job. Here comes Jeff Reynolds and Randall Bruce. We've got a five bass limit. These guys are currently leading the Angler of the Year base by a very slim two points. We're gonna give you the total weight here. This is big, 1056, that's a great limit of fish. Don't run off, Jeff. Uh, Steven Johnston and Dickie Newberry weighed in earlier. They struggled today, man. They only had, I wanna say, maybe six pounds or so. How do you feel about that? Man, I'm tickled to death, but with the practice we had, you know, I didn't know if we could even catch a keeper. We, we had a lot of bites yesterday, but we didn't set the hook on nothing, but man, we just, we fished the best way I know how to fish, and that's just pretty much junk fish. Russell Lee okay, and Hunter that's Jordan that's had a good day on Louisville, sacking up five fish and bringing them to the scales. New leader, 1761. Only one team is left to weigh, and we know that Russell Cecil and Todd Castledine had a good day, but was it enough? We're looking for 1762 to take the lead. Total weight, oh my goodness, 1724, just a little bit short. Fishing their first event with us, Hunter Jordan and Russell Lee win the final regular season tournament of the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. I was very, very impressed with, with this today. It was very good. Uh, I had a guy a few weeks ago tell me about it. He's like, you need to go try it out. And I thought, well, here's one that's close enough to my house, so I'm gonna run up there and give it a try. So it, it was worth coming for sure, I really enjoyed it. Turning to the Lucas Oil Team of the Year standings, Jeff Reynolds and Randall Bruce hold on to their lead, while Cecil and Castledine climb from fifth to second. The 2013 season is coming up. We invite you to give the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's a look. For schedules, registration, and contingency options, visit texasteamtrail.com. The Texas Team Trail is a Careco TV LLC production.